What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how you can adjust the width of your section planes in SketchUp. Um, before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give a uh, start to finish training for SketchUp. So it's basically the equivalent of a two day in person training. So um, if you want to learn how to create things for layout, um, create different kinds of plans, um, get more advanced into SketchUp as well as learning some of the basics as well, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've gotten the question lately a few different times, can I adjust the width of section cuts in SketchUp? So like let's say for example that I wanted to take a section cut across this building. This is my apartment model that I did for layout. I'll link to that series down below so you can see how everything's grouped and uh, how I've taken that to layout so you can create plans. But I also wanted to use it as an example. And so I'm going to go ahead and use this model as an example of how you can adjust your section plane width. And so kind of as an example, let's say that you wanted to take a section plane across this building and cut everything except for the kitchen, but then you also wanted to take a section plane um, facing this way, or to your left, and also to your right, so that you literally only see the stuff over here. And um, so basically the way that would work, and you could, you could also use this in layout um, with clipping planes, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how to do this in SketchUp where you don't have to use layout. And so the first thing you're going to notice is if I come in here right now and I take one section cut across this building, so if I just kind of set this this way, that's going to work just fine. That's going to give me a cut across my building so I can see my kitchen area. You know, and that works okay, but the problem with section planes and uh, probably why the title of this video is maybe a little bit misleading is you can't really adjust the width of a plane itself. So I can't like take this and scale it or anything like that. You can see how if I activate the scale tool on a section plane, it doesn't let me do anything. So you can't just set the width of this, but what you can do is you can use two more section planes in order to set the width of your section cut. Um, but the problem is, as of right now, I can't just come in here and add a second section plane. Because if you remember, and I'll go ahead and reverse this, if you remember, you can only have one section plane active in a group at a time. So if I set this to my active cut, then my other one automatically turns off. So you can see how that's a little bit problematic. Well, what you can do, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off both cuts for right now, is you can group your geometry in a way where you can have a section plane active in your overall model and then you can also have section planes active in the different groups of geometry. So it's kind of a workaround. So in this case what we would do is you can see how I have all the geometry in my house right now set up in these different groups. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that geometry and I'm going to go into the outliner to select all of this but I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to click make group. And so what make group is going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to add another section plane within that group and I can have both of them active at one time. So you can see how right now both of these section planes are outside of that group. Well what I can do is I can delete this out and then I can double click to go inside this group and I can come in and I can add this second section plane. So you can see how now I can set both of these section planes to active. So I can go inside this group and I can adjust where this section plane is so I can adjust the width of what's shown within SketchUp. So you can see how I can cut the wall all the way to the side of this cabinet. And we'll go ahead and say we want that right here. So the thing is you can't come in and add another section plane inside this group and have that active as well because there's already one active in here. So you can see how if I add that right now, I'm inside this group of geometry and you can only have one or the other. So what I wanna do is I wanna add all of this geometry to another group inside of a group. So I just select it all and I click make group. So now what I have is I have a section plane that's outside of any group in my model. So that's giving me a cut across my whole model. I have my first group of group geometry in here and that contains my first section plane. And then we'll delete this other one out. We'll just double click inside this group and we'll add a second section plane. And so you can see 
that the way I have this is I now have three section planes active, but none of them is active at the same time in the same group. And hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions about this, leave them down below. But so if you look at the way this is organized, you've got this section plane, which is outside of everything. You've got the first group that you created that basically contains all of this geometry and this section plane. And then you have the second group that you created that contains all of this geometry and this section plane. So because those are all in different groups, they can all be active at one time. And then you could come in here and you could set up your view. Like maybe I'll turn perspective off or something like that. And then you could also come in here and do a view and turn off section planes. So now what you can do is you can set up your section cut exactly the way that you want it to be using these different section planes. So leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? Um, does this kind of solve your problem when you're trying to work um, or adjust the width of section planes? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.